says 26 minutes, 7.4 miles. Looks like we got quite the drop off here. Trailer's not advised. Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, you ready? Is quite the drop. GoPro's never gonna show it. That was a drop, is what that was. Yeah, you just. No video is gonna do this descent and how fast we're dropping any justice. Take another ride on the Sunshine Highway. What that you say, Mrs. Robinson? Chilton Joe has left and gone away. Hey, hey, hey. We won't have to follow me. So I guess it's time to get going and see how warm it is outside. That is always the hardest part is when you're comfortable in your tent to actually get up. Trepid adventure rider emerges from his temporary nightly shelter, ready to bask in the morning sunlight and get energy to find out what today has ahead of you. So if you don't know, that right there is Tomek from Adventure Tomek. And we are just getting up this morning and we are gonna go keep riding and see what today brings. So if you haven't already, check out his channel. It's Adventure Tomek and we're gonna get riding. Good morning. We are actually climbing back up the Lehigh Pass Hill so we can actually go see it. Since we got in so late, we wanted to make sure we got to a place in camp and so we didn't stop and see anything. So you will see us here. It is going to climb in a stinking hurry once it starts going. We're coming home. Yeah, so this is the second day actually riding with Tomek. 
And we camped on the west side of Lehmai Pass, kind of down at, in the valley, where it was going to be a little bit warmer at night. Now we're going to climb up and go check it out. Then the plan is to ride up and meet with some friends in western Montana of mine. And then I think Tomac is going to figure out what his plan is after doing that. Um, I don't know if he's going to stay with uh, for a bit or if he's going to just start working his way back to Colorado. I guess we'll find out what he decides to do. But for now, just enjoy this beautiful area, huh? This is just fantastic big bike riding. It's enough that you have to kind of be paying attention to not to where you're going. On this climb, we're definitely going to have to keep our momentum. Again, it's not going to ever show the slope of how steep this is on the GoPro, but we were just down there. <laughs> Yeah, we got the wildflowers out. This was quite nerve wracking as it was kind of dark and I couldn't see anything. I had the sun in my eyes. Doesn't seem quite as intimidating today. Hey, we made it. <laughs> yeah. Tombank gives it the thumbs up. So let's go check out Leem High Pass here. Okay, so here we are on Leem High Pass. I don't know if you can see this marker down here behind me. Uh, but this is the point on the Continental Divide where Lewis and Clark came and going west. It's a different spot than when they were coming east. Uh, but as this shows you, you can get down here is everything west of here eventually drains into the Columbia River. Everything east of here drains into the Missouri River. Um, yeah, so this is just a great view. There's a lot up here, so it was a quick trip up for us um, after what we thought was a really steep downhill yesterday in the dark in the daylight it was pretty easy so we're just going to keep checking things out and get on the road and probably head back down that same route get to the highway and get some coffee because me being an idiot i forgot to grab coffee last night so i only had an energy drink this morning no coffee so i am really ready for coffee all right well we are back on the pavement. That was it for the dirt section for right now. So what the plan is, is I'm meeting some friends, as you heard. So we're on the highway, just heading that direction. So I'll probably film a few of the little scenic areas and some of the twisty areas that are pretty good. I know it's a real, real compelling dialogue there, Dewey. Way to go. We had a fantastic time. Camping was great. The weather was perfect this morning. It was almost too warm. I put a layer on under my jacket. It was almost too much. I ended up taking it off almost immediately because once I got rolling, I realized how warm it actually was. So now it's 70 freaking five degrees. It's a far cry from those cold rainy days, not Larry, just earlier in this trip. We are just outside of Salmon, Idaho right now after coming down Limhai Pass. So yeah, it's definitely uh, beautiful, can't complain. There's worse places to ride, that's for sure.
here we are on the last pass, coming back from Idaho into Montana on 93. We're going to go have some fun. Man, every time I looked back, you were right in my rear view. At the end there, I was trying to get closer. I was hoping you're recording. Uh, were uh, you? What? Were you recording? Yeah, I had mine on. Oh, awesome. So I was trying to get to that camera. I think it's on. Yeah. Yeah. The red light's going. No, no, because uh, at the end there, I was trying to get close so I could get some cool shot. It's so, and it's so hard to show speed or lean angle. Like, I don't know if it, it's going to capture the lean angle. You're over. I mean... <laughs> That was fun. That was a fun movie. Yeah, I mean, we were moving through there. Look how fast we were going past cars in there, you know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh. so here we are going down the back side of the pass. I let Tombek go in the lead on this part. So this is going to be the sort of the last little stretch of us riding together, actually. Tell you what, Tomat can wheel it. Ain't no doubt about it. But everybody, thank you for coming along on these adventures with Tomek and I. I was super, super excited to get to hang out with him and meet him. He's been one of my favorite moto vloggers for a while. I love watching his content there from Colorado. So definitely, definitely go check out his channel if you get the chance.